Today I'm gonna to talk about how I'm using this XLR mic here. It's a Neumann, and I'm recording not only into my camera with this mic right now, but also into my iPad. I've made several videos about using an iPad and audio gear, in particular USB mics. And so if you haven't seen those videos, I'll put links to those in the description, but using a USB mic is probably the easiest way to connect a device to an iPhone or an iPad. I actually record a lot of my voiceovers on an iPhone, but today we're looking at an iPad and how I'm using it with a more expensive XLR mic. Not everyone has XLR mics, but a lot of people do. It really just depends on what you're recording. For home studio stuff, USB mics work great. I have a lot myself. However, in larger studios, but also in home studios, a lot of people would prefer an XLR mic just because of the way you can route it and mix it, etc. And also you have a little more flexibility, typically speaking, the way you can record things. Meaning if you're recording a band, for example, recording instruments. But for me, I'm not a musician. The main way I use these kind of setups are recording voiceovers like I'm doing right now or podcast. Now I mentioned that I'm using this mic right now and recording into my camera. And that is a Sony mirrorless camera. And the way I'm doing that is by using an audio interface. And the one I'm using right now is a Focusrite. It's the Scarlett Solo version three. Now you could use any kind of audio interface. This Scarlett is about 140 ish dollars at the time of this video. And it's a really solid one that'll work with not only an iPad, it works via USB-C, but also a computer. And the reason you have to have an audio interface like this for an XLR mic is because the XLR connector won't work natively with a computer or with an iPad or an iPhone, in particular an iPad in this example. And so you have the ability to plug an XLR mic into the Focusrite and then the output of the Focusrite is USB to USB-C and that goes into your iPad in this case. Now, the nice thing is with this particular audio interface, it also has an output for speakers. It has a main out. And the way I'm routing that right now is the main out here will go into my camera. And so that way I'm able to send an analog signal out of this to my camera. And at the same time, I'm coming over here to my iPad. The other thing that this audio interface does that's really important for a mic like this in particular is it has phantom power. This mic is not self-powered. And so in this audio interface, it has a button here, it says 48 volt. And now it's back on. And so I should be getting audio there. Yes, I am. So the phantom power is really important depending on the type of mic you have. Most high-end professional mics will require phantom power. So what's really cool is essentially now this is working like a mixer. It's going into my Sony camera and also into my iPad at the same time. Speaking of the iPad, we'll look at that real quick and see how I'm recording. And all I'm using here is an app called Meta Recorder. You could use any app you want. You could use GarageBand, you could use Ferrite, doesn't really matter, whatever you wanna use. I like this one as you have a lot of control and it feels like a professional recorder. And so again, right now I'm feeding this through the focus right into my camera, but also directly into the iPad. So I can hit record here. Now you can see I've got a waveform going and everything I'm saying is being recorded here as well as the camera. And then in post-production, I could either choose which one to use depending on what I'm doing. So in other words, I wouldn't have to record to the camera or I don't have to record to the iPad, but I have options, which I really like. And now a word from our sponsor. If you're new to mobile audio production, check out my course, The Complete Guide to Smartphone Audio Production. It's a great beginner's course covering everything from podcasting to voiceovers to on-set video production. So if you're interested, please check it out. Link is in the description. Now, of course, you don't have to use a focus, right? In a previous video, I showed the iRig Pre, which I also have. It's a little bit streamlined. It's not quite as advanced as this one. So this one, you can actually do two inputs. You can do a quarter inch input. For example, if you were gonna record vocals and also a guitar. And then there's another one out right now that I saw recently that I don't have, but it's from Elgato. And it looks like a really nice, simple XLR input that you could use with a computer and iPad as well. And then there are others like from Ceramonic, et cetera. And I'll put links to this Focusrite and to others in the description below. 
Well, to me, it's so cool that you can use an XLR mic with an iPad, and then of course going into your camera, all with a simple audio interface. And so it's just a great way to record audio, really, no matter what you're doing. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.